Hey guys, Justin here, and it is time once again for a Lake St. Clair fishing report. And I know it looks like I'm about to give you a nice report, but we're a little early for that. So in this week's report, guys, I'm going to fill you in on what's going on with the water temp, the water clarity, the weather we've been having, which has been dreadful. And I'm also going to give you a detailed update. Well, I'm not going to. I have a special guest in this week's report that will be giving you guys a detailed report of up by Port Huron. So let's start out with probably the strongest bite that I know of that's going on right now. And that is for panfish, bluegill, crappie, yellow perch. The marinas, the canals, the marshy areas have been producing phenomenal, phenomenal catches out here on Lake St. Clair. But we're having a lot of cold front and cold weather and windy, nasty fronts come through. So that is making the bite kind of have a lot of peaks and valleys. So you do have to work for them a little bit. The weeds have begun to really die back very, very quickly. So these areas where these big gills where I've been hiding all summer are starting to get less and less and they're starting to get easier and easier to catch. For you guys chasing pike and muskie, couple things you need to be aware of right now. We're going into fall, so that means we need to go to where food begins to stack up. That's gonna be your river and creek mouse, the spillway, salt river, uh, St. John's Marsh where there's some flow coming out of there is a good place. Um, down by Peach Island at the head of the Detroit River, that's a really good place to start finding them as well this time of the year. And as these fish begin to progress closer and closer to the shoreline, that bite will get better and better. So if you're in a little boat and you're scared of the winds we've been having, even out of the west, it's been blowing 2025. 20, when we get those westerly winds, you have a buffer there that you can get out in those smaller boats and get out and chase these muskie. Hey guys, so I have something extra special for you for this week's fish report. Um, the last few reports I put out, I've been getting a lot of questions about jigging up in the river up here near Port Huron. There's always a lot of rumors and a lot of guys down by the lake have a hard time getting information. Well, I'm here with Joel Anderson of Anderson Pro Bait up here in Port Huron and he's going to give us a scoop of what's going on up here in Port Huron. So, Joel, up here in Port Huron, mm -hmm. um, we're getting into the fall. What kind of fishing do we normally see historically up here and kind of what's been going on? Well, our fish are, um, as of right now, they're just starting to move out of the lake in the 70 foot hole above the Blue Water Bridge. Uh, as the water cools down, they're going to move into the river. Um, and the fall fishery up here in um, this time of the year, once we hit that 55 degree water temp, it's game on. Um, the beauty about it is, um, no matter how good the fishing is, you'll have 20 boats out there. Everybody's duck hunting, goose hunting, deer hunting. Um, so the, the, you can pick your spot. There is no crowds and the, it will take you longer to get out the Black River than to get your fish. What, what kind of fish are we talking that come back down on the river this time of the year? Oh, walleye and it's all a jig okay. bite. Um, this time of the year they, they do use spoons, uh, Hopkins spoons, things like that. Um, but typically it's just a one ounce jig and finesse. Okay, is it, it is it shore? Has the shore fishing been picking up for guys too? It will. Um, as the water conditions uh, get dirty, the fish move in close to shore. Uh, you know, as we all know, the walleye don't like light. Uh, the bait doesn't like light, um, and really, that's what we're waiting on right now is the bait. Um, the the bait is not up here in, in big numbers, and when that happens, that's when the fish will really be here. And you said 55 degrees. Where are we on water temperature right now? Uh, we shot back up to 61 with the 80 degree last week. Um, it will cool down really quick. A, a north wind here, we're at the end of a 300 mile north wind. So it will, it takes the lake and it rolls it up and over and we can cool down five, six degrees in one night just from a good north wind. Is there anybody hand lining or whipping anymore like for, further downstream? Uh, whipping will, I wish I had more whipping reports. Typically this is when the, the guys go out whipping. Um, they like it when the time change happens because you can be home by nine o'clock rather than 11 o'clock. Um, it, it hasn't picked up yet, but that, that's just weeks away from that to, to pick up. Hand lining, not so much. Uh, August up here is really popular when the fish have the you know pink mouth. 
Um, we're really popular with hand lining, but other than that, that's about the only time. Is there any smallmouth still being caught up in this area? There are. We don't have the numbers like Lake St. Clair. Uh, we do have the size. Um, I've seen many people walk in here with a limit of five pound smallies. I don't know why you'd want to eat a five pound smallie, but that's their prerogative. Um, really good size, not the, not the numbers like Lake St. Clair. Um, fish right from shore along the boardwalks with tubes, can't go wrong, green, anything green. Um, have you been getting any reports on sturgeon? I know down the lower river this time of year is the, the big fish time of year. Do you ever get guys that target them up here? A little bit farther down river. Um, Marine City is really popular. I know it's only 30 miles away from where I'm at, but it's a totally different fishery from where I am and 30 miles away. Um, we get the sturgeon up here in big numbers in the spring. Not so much um, in the fall, but we do in the spring. Um, is there any salmon action that is nearby that guys that may not want to go to the west side and, and battle fish uh, with guys on the shore that, that they might, might have an opportunity to come up here and do? Lexington Harbor, if nothing else, you should at least go up there and take a look at it because it's really, really neat to see. Um, the problem with it is they don't bite really good this time of the year. Um, there's a lot of fish up there in the harbor, in Lexington Harbor. That's where they were planted. Um, that's a three, we're three years into that plant and it's been very, we're upwards of 10 to 12% return. And the DNR shoots for like a 2% return. So we're blowing those numbers out of the, the water. So that's gonna increase. Um, as far as down in Port Huron, you have the cohos and steelhead around. Um, I get a lot of phone calls on kings, like, hey, are the kings are in? Those days are done. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of kings around. The, the Sarnia Club plants a few thousand, but that's about it. And we were talking earlier when I first came in, you said there was some good news coming mm -hmm. in the future for guys that want to chase salmon in this area. What is that news? We have 100,000 cohos um, that we pulled from some plants that are coming into the lower end of the lake. Um, we're not sure what harbor. could be Port Sandlack, Harbor Beach. Um, but we have not had a coho plant here since the mid 80s. Um, so that's really, really good news for us. Um, and the reason they pick the coho is because it's an opportunistic type of eater. They'll eat bugs, minnows, anything else. And that's where our fishery is now. Um, the days of the big king eating the alewives, that's gone. It's, it's all about the opportunistic eaters, so. Good. Is that? Pretty much all, you need, all guys need to know right now, they come up here to go fish. You know, the lake's been getting battered by wind, so mm -hmm. it's been tough for guys to get out and actually even shore fish down there on, on, on the points. Um, so if guys want to come up here, you know, what are, what are a few things they need to know when they come up here the, that the, would give them success when they come up here? The, the one thing on your winds, anything even a little bit northeast, don't come up here with a boat. You, you're not going to be able to fish out in the lake, the lower end of the lake. The river will be fine. The river would be calm. A south wind, you can have a 30 mile an hour south wind. The lake is going to be fine the lower end of the lake. So just remember that. Um, I get a lot of people driving up from the city with a 15 mile an hour northeast and they have a boat with them. I'm like, there's no way in heck you're going to be able to get out on the lake. So do a little bit of research before you take the drive up here. Um, our fishery, our walleye fishery, I've seen it go um, till Christmas. I've seen it be done by Thanksgiving. It's all on water temperature and it's all on bait. Um, there's plenty of times you can go out Christmas or uh, Thanksgiving Day and do a limit of walleye out here. So, and again, there's no people. The crowds aren't here. Nice, thanks. You're welcome. For you guys chasing smallmouth, some interesting things are going on right now. Um, we just had Monster Quest. I know the top two teams had like 28 pounds. And I talked to a couple guys over in Canada, a couple guys here on the U.S. side in the last week or so. And some guys have located some fish in that shallower, you know, 8 to 14 foot of water. But those fish have been extremely fickle. Um, just because of this weather, the way it's been, the clarity of the water, uh, the temps we've been seeing. So they've been a little, you know, all over the place. But there is some fish up shallow that are available. Some of the better, more consistent bites are actually still happening out in 16 and 18 foot of water. So where you want to go out there is areas that will funnel food with the, with the lake current and congregate these fish into tighter and tighter areas. Um, the ridges, the firecracker, just to name a couple areas that should be producing fish right now. 
you know, for the smallmouth, you definitely want to be fishing, you know, your classic Lake St. Clair baits. Your tubes are going to be good. Your drop shots are still going to be good. When we get a day like today where I'm about to go out fishing, we have a little bit of a high pressure, a lot of sun. Uh, spy bait worked really, really slow. Should be working really good. A jerk bait early in the morning as the day goes on, you can get a little more aggressive with it. We're looking at water temps in the low to mid 50s right now. So we are getting closer and closer to that 45 degree mark where everything just comes to the shore. For you guys chasing yellow perch, from the bulk of the reports I'm hearing, you know, the bee can has been kind of there and not there. Salfridge has been there and not there. Uh, but the dumping grounds, nine mile, 10 mile, Lance Cruz Bay, those have been the areas producing the most consistent catches for guys. So we do have dirty water. So you're gonna be able to fish right below your boat. So look for those schools packed up and weed beds are dying back, so these fish are gonna to begin to get into really large schools, become very, very predictable and easy to find. So that's it for this week's report, guys. I do have one special announcement, and that is I did announce the winner of the Shimano SLX Reel giveaway. Unfortunately, that person has not reached out to me to claim their prize. I am gonna give them until the end of October here to claim their prize. If they don't, well, I'm going to re-gift it out there to you guys in November. Not sure how I'm going to do it. I might do it as just a video where you got a comment in the, in the comments to try to get a shot at it. Or I might just do, give it away on a live stream. I'm not sure yet. And I also have another planned giveaway when I hit 4,000 subscribers. I will go on YouTube. I will pick one of you guys to win a tackle pack from Angler's Choice. And also I will give another one to a commenter on that video when i announce that contest so stay tuned for future video guys and as always remember keep casting stay humble and we'll see you out on the water